Welcome back. You made it through your first day of distance learning. Uh, we are going to start with Unit 7. Uh, just a quick note that we are skipping Unit 6 for right now. Unit 7 is a little bit easier to do over distance learning. So we're going to start with that warm-up. Go ahead and give it a shot. Um, go ahead and pause the video. Uh, see if you can do it on your own. And then we'll go through it together. All right, let's do it. So this is a warm-up back from Unit 1. Um, and all it is is doing some substitution here. So we know that W equals X, I'm sorry, X equals negative 1, and Y equals 10. So plug them in, negative 1 cubed, and then times Y, Y is 10, so 10 squared. Uh, when I evaluate this first part, so the negative 1 cubed, Remember that you can use Desmos calculator for that if you don't have your own calculator to do it. Uh, we talked about that in the video uh, from Monday. So negative one cubed uh, is going to be the same thing as negative one times itself three times. So I plug that in my calculator. I find out that that is negative one and 10 squared. So that's 10 times itself twice. So 10 times 10, which is 100. And then all I have to do is multiply these two things. So negative one times 100 is negative 100. And remember, put your answer in a heart to set your work apart. Next question, once again, we're just gonna plug in. So we know x equals four, so this is three times four squared, all over y, y is negative seven, negative seven squared. So let's start with the top order of operations. It says we do the exponent part before we do the multiplication. So let's do four squared. And four squared is 16. Then negative seven squared. Uh, just a note here that negative seven is in parentheses, as you can see. So this is gonna be negative seven times negative seven, uh, giving us a positive answer, which is 49. Perfect. Then we just need to multiply 3 times 16. That equals 48. 49 on the bottom. And that is as far as we go. So we can just circle, box, or heart our answer there. 48 over 49. All right. So with exponents here, um, we've got b to the e. So b is our base, and e is the exponent. So therefore, our base is that number number being multiplied, and the amount of times we're multiplying. So if we're doing 3 to the 4th power, so therefore 3 would be our base, 4 would be our exponent, that means that we are taking the number 3 and we are multiplying it 4 times. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So remember we have our base, and then we have our exponent, which is the four. So go ahead, fill out this table, use a calculator if you need to, um, and then go ahead and let me know if you notice any patterns or uh, what you notice when you write them as fractions. Pause the video if you need to, to fill that out and then see if you can figure uh, those two questions out. All right, there you will see the table filled out. So if I type in 2 to the third power, that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Uh, 2 squared is going to be 4. 2 to the first is 2. 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the negative 1 is going to equal 1 half. And 2 to the negative 2 is going to equal 1 fourth. Um, I did put these in fractions for a reason. All right, see if you can notice the patterns. So, yeah, so if you do notice, it is getting cut in half each time the exponent decreases. So we start at 16, then go to 8. Half of 8 is 4. Half of 4 is 2. Half of 1 is 1. Half of 1 is 1 half, and so on. What do you notice if you write your answer as a fraction? So notice that 2 to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over 2. Um, and so this is our first thing with negative exponents. Negative exponents are actually going to flip the fraction. So this is actually going to be 1 over 2 to the first. So the negative that we have here doesn't make the number negative. You see it's still a positive 1 half in our table. It actually just flips the fraction. 
So then 2 to the negative 2 is going to equal 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 over 4. So anytime you see a, a fractional, I'm sorry, negative exponent, it's going to make it into a fraction. Same thing is true. It'll flip from the bottom to the top as well. So if we had something that was like 1 over 3 to the negative 2, that's going to flip up to the top, which would equal 9. So anytime you have a negative exponent, it's going to take the base and flip it up, and then you just take the exponent, you keep it the same, but just without the negative. All right, and the other thing to notice here is what's happening right here. So 2 to the 0 equals 1. Um, some of you might have thought that that was going to be 0 before you actually put it in the, to the calculator. Super common mistake. Um, but there's a rule that we have, and it's that any number to the 0 power equals 1. So, once again, any number to the 0 exponent is 1. And that's our second property of exponent that we're talking about today. So we have our first one with negative exponents, um, that just flip the fraction. And we have our second one, which is any number to the 0 exponent, is 1. So some examples of stuff that this would equal. Um, we can say x to the 0, that's going to equal 1. We could say something like... 5 to the 0 equals 1, and we can say something like a, b, c, d, e, f to the 0 equals 1, because anything to the 0 is always just 1. So we, are, we have some practice problems here for you to do. Um, we're going to stop here today. This stuff is all going to be tomorrow. Uh, but go ahead and try these nine problems. Answer keys are on Schoology. I'm going to do just a couple of them with you guys um, and then do the rest on your own. Uh, once again, answer key is up on Schoology for you already. Uh, so the first one I want to do is going to be number two. Um, so we just talked about anything to the zero power is what? Anything to the zero is going to be one. So that answer is just one. Then let's look at number four. So negative two to the fourth. Uh, remember that answer. So negative 2 to the 4th is different than negative 2 to the 4th. Um, because in this one, the 4, the exponent of the 4, is only being applied to the 2. So that one kind of is the same thing as saying that. So in this case, it's going to be a positive 16. And in this case, 2 to the 4th is 16, but then you got to tack on the negative in front of it. So this answer right here is going to be positive 16 based on that. And the last one I'll do with you is going to be number 8, so 5 to the negative 4th. Remember that negative exponent, all it does is it flips the fraction. So it becomes 1 over 5 to the 4th. And we can definitely plug into our calculator, figure out what 5 to the 4th is, and go ahead and write that answer. And if you don't know that answer, you don't have a calculator, remember you can always ask Google. Hey Google, what is 5 to the 4th? 5 to the 4th is 625. There you go, you have your answer.